Welcome back to our channel, Passport to USA. In this comprehensive video, we present the most current 100 civics questions you need to know for the U.S. citizenship exam. Our expert team has meticulously compiled and explained each question, making your path to U.S. citizenship as smooth as possible. Don't miss this essential resource. Subscribe to Passport to USA and embark on your journey to becoming a proud U.S. citizen. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. Name two cabinet-level positions. Secretary of Defense. Secretary of Education. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? The answer will vary based on where the applicant lives. Note, District of Columbia residents and those living in U.S. territories should answer that D.C., or the territory where they live, has no senators. How many U.S. senators are there? 100. Name your U.S. representative. The answer will vary based on where the applicant lives. Note, District of Columbia residents and those living in U.S. territories should answer that D.C., or the territory where they live, has no House representatives. What is the economic system in the United States? Market economy. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life, liberty. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. In what month do we vote for president? November. What does the President's Cabinet do? Advises the President. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Kamala Harris Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. Describe one of the four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Citizens 18 and older can vote. Who is the governor of your state now? The answer will vary based on where the applicant lives. D.C. residents should answer that D.C. doesn't have a governor. Which group of people was taken to the U.S. and sold as slaves? Africans. 
What is the political party of the president now? Democratic Party Name two major political parties in the United States. Democratic and Republican What age do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts Name one reason colonists came to America. Freedom When was the Constitution written? 1787 When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4, 1776 Name one war fought by the U.S. in the 1800s. Civil War Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes, taxation without representation. Name two ways that U.S. citizens can participate in their democracy. Vote, join a political party. What is the capital of your state? The answer will vary based on where the applicant lives. D.C. residents should answer that D.C. isn't a state and therefore doesn't have a capital. Residents of U.S. territories must name the capital of their territory. Name Who was the first president? George Washington When must all men register for the selective service? At 18 what happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. Who is considered the father of our country? George Washington Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War I Name one of the writers of the Federalist Papers. James Madison Name During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism what territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? The Louisiana Territory What ocean is on the west coast of the U.S.? Pacific Ocean What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil Rights Movement Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Missouri River Name one U.S. territory. Guam Name two national U.S. holidays. President's Day, Independence Day Why does the flag have 13 stripes? 
because there were 13 original colonies. Name one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did. Freed the Slaves, Emancipation Proclamation. Name one state that borders Canada. New York. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for women's rights. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Announced our independence from Great Britain. Who vetoes bills? The President. What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. Who makes federal laws? Congress. How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House of Representatives. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because of the state's population. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Joe Biden. Name one power of the federal government. To print money. What is the highest court in the United States? 
The Supreme Court. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. What date is the last day you can submit federal income tax forms? The date is typically on or around April 15th. When Who is the commander-in-chief of the military? The president. We elect a president for how many years? Four. Name one power of the states. Provide schooling and education. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Name one responsibility that is only for U.S. citizens. Serve on a jury. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. Who signs bills to become laws? The President. Name two rights of everyone living in the U.S. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion. Name one promise you make when you become a U.S. citizen. Obey the laws of the United States. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Patrick McHenry. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? American Indians. Name three of the 13 original states. New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. Name one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for. U.S. Diplomat Name the U.S. War between the North and the South. The Civil War Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery Name one state that borders Mexico. California when do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic Ocean. 
Name one Native American tribe in the United States. Cherokee. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. What major event happened on September 11, 2001, in the U.S.? Terrorists attacked the United States.